than today. It but, might be unrealistic, yeah. Right, so, but even if, right, you don't just date a girl to marry her, right? You, gotta, well, you should. You should. Right, okay, okay. That's, yeah. to that's, that's where right, I'm like, okay. we got everything messed up. Right. And but, I know it's hard, but. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to commit to, to anything like too seriously before you, you know, completely know the girl first, correct? Well, yeah, but you shouldn't even date without the intention to marry. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Tally Kick. I call him Tally Kick. Hello, kicking us. Clashes with students pushing free love. Okay, let's give this a try. Yes, sir. You were talking about like premarital sex and things like yes. that, which I feel like is a great concept. Yeah. But the question is do you think men and women both having high body counts like is, is the same thing? Um, okay. No. I, they're, they're both bad, but they're, 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 men deal with different sexual temptation than women. It's much easier for a woman to say no to sex than men. A man. Much easier. So which one do you think is worse? Is, uh, it depends what I mean by what, worse for them. It's actually worse for the female, psychologically. Right. <laughs> worse, like, like worse from an outside judgment standpoint. I mean, it, it's it's probably a tie. I mean, but they, they're they're worse for bad for different reasons. So the man has a much harder time restraining sexual impulse than a female. Right, but true. But it's it's also a fact that when a woman has a high body count, they become less desirable in the eyes of a man. I don't I don't know if that's a, that's not a good thing or a bad thing. It's just reality. Right. So on the contrary to that, if if a man is a virgin, especially in the generation we live in, yes. Why are we not like if you if if you're a virgin, are you going to be respected as a man? I was. I mean, I'm right, but I was a virgin until I got married. Right, but think about the majority. I had a pretty good life and good career. Like <laughs> career, career, yes. But, but also, why are you sharing your sexual behavior with people? Like that's weird. Like why yeah, is it their business that you're a virgin or not? Like I mean, that's that's like who cares? I, I agree with you. I agree. But with like, if you, is the argument that you have sex because you might be like called a virgin? Like, yeah, I don't have STDs. Go to hell. Like, okay. <laughs> no, I, I again, I, I completely agree with you. But the, but like the fact. I is, hear the social pressure yeah, argument. Like the, yeah. the social pressure is, it's like if a man is a virgin in, especially in this dating market, right? Like, yeah. I think that's unbelievably attractive to women. I disagree. I, My I wife's so. pretty beautiful. <laughs> Right. Right? Like, she's pretty desirable. Uh, right. Would you guys agree? Yeah, yeah Erica's yeah. pretty beautiful. I, I'll just tell you that if a man or a woman remains a virgin, you become insanely attractive in a time when everyone else has been shared. It's not easy. I understand that we live in a hyper-sexualized culture. I'm not even shaming people. I know it's difficult. But if you commit yourself to it, you should be, you should be platformed as a desirable, you know, way to live. And I, again, I'm not here to humiliate everyone's struggles and everyone has, uh, maybe today though, if you could rededicate yourself to that way of life, it's a beautiful thing. But, okay, so uh, then again, does the innocence of being a virgin as a man, yeah. like, lower his masculinity? No, because it actually increases his masculinity. Testosterone. Actually, yeah, if you, if you remain a virgin, that means that you have so much self-control over your animal instincts, True. that you're like the most badass man. It's yeah. easy not to be a virgin. It's hard to be a virgin. Masculinity is doing the hard stuff, not the easy stuff. So, like, I have zero respect for a 17-year-old. It's like, bro, I have all this sex with people. Like, yeah, you're nothing more than a rabbit. Yeah. No, like, uh, good for you. <laughs> Again. Like, control yourself. Again, but it, 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 does it, doesn't it also come down to, if innocence raises femininity and makes a woman more attractive, wouldn't yeah. it do the opposite for a man? No, I'm saying it actually makes the man more attractive. I think virginity makes both sexes more attractive. I'm not arguing for, there's some people that are like, men should have as much sex as they want and women shouldn't. I think both should save themselves from marriage. But it's True. a fact that, and it's not a good fact, that if women do have a high body count, men do not find that to be attractive. Right, that, that's a that's fact. That's a fact. I, I completely agree with yeah, you. Yeah, and so I'm just being, I, I, I just don't agree I don't with don't the like opposite. the fact. Yeah, but yeah, I just don't agree with the opposite. That's okay, yeah, I mean, yeah. but I hear all the time from young women, why can't I find a man? Well, because you've been sleeping around for the last decade. Yeah, I hear from men. Why are there no good women? Well, because the women are, you know, pseudo prostitutes, most of them, you know, in the area. Yeah. No, again, and you say, fair. Charlie, that's not fair. What is OnlyFans? It's online prostitution. How many, how many of you guys know girls that have OnlyFans accounts? All of you. So you all know hookers. That's what it is. 
How they pay for ASU? Welcome to ASU, but uh, what? <laughs> Spot on. I was gonna ask. Yeah. We all got friends who probably like sleep around. And yeah, and I'm not really trying sure. to shame anyone that does that. Yeah. I'm trying to challenge you to be better. I want to be very clear. Do you think that's a lost cause? For, like, no. Friendship? Like, anyone can change at any time. I would check. Look, if someone who's sleeping around all the time, deep down they probably are mentally tormented. If they're a man, I guarantee they're gonna be accused of rape at any time by some girl that wakes up and has a different version of events. And in today's life, that could destroy your life, right? You could have an STD yeah. and or like you have just cheapened the sacred the holy right you have something holy why share it with like every random person at asu right thing is, save you... it for your soul partner save it for the person you want to send for the rest of your life not easy but the fulfilling life is for those people that do hard stuff not easy stuff well, both mm. are hard. You have to choose your difficulty. Yes, it's a difficult path to say no to hookup culture. Yeah. It's a difficult path. I get it, but, it's also, but it's, it's also insanely fulfilling. How do you get friends to see like sex is more sacred? I feel like it's hard. It's I mean, hard it's just they look at it through a highly pornified, sexualized lens. Hmm. Yeah, even so with the hookup culture thing, like I think that's a great point. I mean, it's... Uh, it's very unrealistic, especially in the generation we were in today. It but, might be unrealistic, yeah. Right. So, but even if, right, you don't just date a girl to marry her, right? You, gotta, well, you should. You should. Right, okay, okay. That's, the reason to date. that's, that's where okay, I'm right, like, okay. we got everything messed up. Right. And but, I know it's hard, but. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to, you don't want to commit to, to anything like too seriously before yeah. you, you know, completely know the girl first, correct? Well, yeah, but you shouldn't even date without the intention to marry. Da Fox. Dating is not recreational. It's not for sex. It Fact. should be with the intent to find a Tomorrow. soulmate. What else would you date for? Beautiful. Like so, yeah, you're just spending right. money on her just to talk to them before you take them on a date. Get yeah, I mean, but it's like, <laughs> again, well, if you, you study for an exam, that doesn't Right, but for me personally, if I'm going <laughs> to. If I'm. No, no, listen, listen. If I'm, if I'm dating a girl, right? I would want to like I would want to be in a relationship with her for at least three years before before marrying her because you would you would need to understand compatibility you between two that people. You do have the intent to marry. One hundred percent. No, okay, that's fine. Yeah, right. but I mean, then therefore yeah. you shouldn't even go on the first date without in your head I'm looking for flags or things that. You're right. If, and then, Vetic. for example, if you say to myself, I will never marry someone of the another religion. Perfectly respectable thing for any religion, right? and you happen to be dating somebody of a different religion just for the sex and the companionship, that's, I think, immoral. You're leading her on, you're leading yourself on, it, the whole thing is screwed. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So, it's like a placeholder, the whole thing's yeah. screwed So up. dating to intend to marry, it, it, I think, is a good virtue, but also at the same time, if you don't want to commit to marriage too quickly in a relationship, isn't intimacy a, a big part of a relationship? So why would you save yourself well, self for marriage? You should save yourself for marriage. Uh, that's a great question. Even in a committed relationship? hundred yes. percent, yes, uh, yes. Without a doubt, because the sacred should only be shared with the person when the vows are shared mm. in, my, in the ideal. I know that's unrealistic. OK, mm. but I, it's hard for a generation that's so sexualized to get this. But to describe how awesome it is to not have to worry that your partner had to share that with somebody else and you didn't have to share it. That's not on, it, it can happen because your grandfather's generation and great grandfather's generation lived that and they lived happier and better lives. It, it can be done. Right. right where you're both not wondering am i living up to a previous partner you know am i thinking about a different partner that it, it, it and by the way with women in in particular the studies show there is um it's there's this there's a chemical there's an attachment that young ladies have as soon as they have they, they have sex with somebody and it, it's True. very hard that's for like young estrogen. women to overcome that right right and that's where you sometimes get like ex-girlfriend syndrome it's honestly understandable. Like biologically, they're not wired to have 15 partners, right? Yeah. Men, on the other hand, have a much easier time moving on from one partner to the other, but they should restrain their animal impulse. Yeah, I, I, I just think it comes down to the time period at the end. No, but we should, we should speak out against, but we should say, okay, just because it's hard doesn't mean we shouldn't set the standard. Hmm. It's possible, right? Yeah, there's pressure. Yeah, there's external stuff and there's evidence to show that we can move public opinion. I'll, I'll prove it to you. Okay. So f how many of you guys know people that smoke tobacco regularly? How many of your friends would you say a majority or a minority? Majority. A majority, majority smoke tobacco like cigarettes? Yeah. Minority. 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 minority? Yeah. 
That's surprising. Okay. Well, my point would have been, I, I'm not even talking about vaping or marijuana. That's a separate issue. But if you would have went to a college campus in the 70s, I would have saw a lot of kids with cigarettes. I don't see that very often. Maybe you guys are going to tell me wrong. We moved public opinion on cigarettes. Now, unfortunately, we now replaced it with other things. But you can get people to change behaviors is what I'm saying. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. And we should try to challenge young men to not have sex with everything that moves. Mm. Mm. Yeah, again, that, that goes down to hookup culture. But I, I think at the end of the day, it's like if I'm in a committed relationship with a girl. That's a better moral standard. You're right. Right. Better moral standard. I, I agree. But it's not the ideal. So you're saying I'll, the ideal is marriage. Of course it is. Yes. And yes. I think we all need to acknowledge that, that there is an ideal. It's not impossible, but it's very difficult. Right. And it, again, I will go back to the approach. You, you took that sex and ethics course you mentioned previously, which is you don't you, you need to eat to survive. You need to drink to survive. You do not need to have sex to survive. You don't. It's you're tempted towards it. You're drawn towards it, but you will not die. Right. right. And so I actually think it creates stronger men and women with a better ability to find their place in the world, less depression, more purpose. And by the way, all the studies show this, that couples that save themselves for marriage, they have like far less rates of alcoholism, far less rates of domestic abuse. And it could be a sampling error because you're like, oh, it's not fair because those are the people that actually have more disciplined lives. Or maybe did they develop discipline by saying no to the thing that they were most tempted to do? Hmm. Wow. This, this is beautiful. Charlie is, is clever. I must say that he's really, really clever because it's, it's something that people look away from. Like, we know we're in a very promiscuous society. Very, 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 very promiscuous. Um, that people see sex as a normal thing, which, which, which is, should not be so. Um, seeing Charlie disclose this and stating the facts, Explaining it very, very vividly, I am, I am seeing the clearer picture. He's, he's not really bringing in religion into this. Like, and Bible said you should, you should, you should keep yourself. Bible said no. He's stating facts, physical facts, physical facts that we we all know is not about religion or, or anything. This is what we are all seeing. We are in the world of promiscuousness. It prom, being promiscuous feels like. A praiser, hey, 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 you have slept with five girls. Hey, hey, you have slept with 10 girls. Hey, you have slept with 20 girls. It makes absolutely no sense. People enter relationship now basically for pleasure, sex. Then they just want to move to the next person. And they are looking for a perfect person. They, they are looking for a part, perfect partner who they will spend their life with. But some other people they have been with, they just don't want to be with the person. They just want to just have sex and leave the person. So who are you keeping those people for? <laughs> it's very, very funny. This was keep that cool, that cool, that body and stuff. It's happened. It's, it's the world we find ourselves in right now. That dating is is a way of immorality. If, if someone say I'm dating, you just know the person's living is immoral. They're just having sex and stuff. Then the relationship comes on, and they move to the next partner. The the cycle repeats itself. So I I understand what Charlie is saying. It, it, that fact is proven. It's true. P couples who are able to hold themselves for a long period of time till they get married tend to trust each other more. Tend to be more committed. Because why they have learned toler tolerance. You see that equal tolerance is very, very important. They, they learn tolerance. They learn how to control themselves. It's it's really beautiful. There are some certain things that the temptation that we get eh, encounter with them. Like, no, no, no. I, I can pass this. This won't kill me. You only make me stronger. You see that? So, the, the guy asking the points right here, asking Charlie some points and giving him some feedback, he, he don't want to enter a relationship that he will starve himself from sex for three years or four years before he get married to the gay. I understand. It's, it's, the, it's the world we find ourselves in. You, you really don't know if your partner you are keeping yourself for for three or four years have been cheating on you. You see, you see this thing, it's, it's, it's really, really surprising. I am someone who have experienced that. You understand? So you're keeping yourself for a long time for, for the special person. Then after three years, four years, the person just, boom, you find that the person has been sleeping with someone else. 
You understand? It's it is very devastating and very shocking. And you 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 feel like you've lost something special, whereas you have not. The person is a person's action. It happened to me. I was dating someone for three years, and the person was sleeping around with someone else. It's it's very devastating. It breaks you down. But the difference between you and the person who did that is that you have morals. You have self-control. You know who you are. You are not loose. That is special. Having self-control till you get married, it's something that is not done everywhere. It's very, very hard to find in our current generation. So seeing people who have that, it's special. But the society we are living in now if you are a virgin, they see you like, why would, you be, why would you be a virgin at your age? Why would you be a virgin? Who does that? They'll see you like you're stupid. Or it makes no sense. So everyone wants to be immoral. So everybody will be equal. But the special things are things that are being kept away from public. A woman who has slept with 50 people are less desirable to men. 100%. That is a fact. But men, on the other hand, want to be sleeping around with 50 people and they feel like it, it, the, the vast Versailles is not the same thing. It is the same thing. If a man sleeps with 50 people, you are less desirable. But I know the society we live in, in the sight of the world, it does not matter. But when a woman does that, it matters. It's, it's a sort of psychological judgment. <laughs> That's how we see things. But it should not be so. Both parties should keep themselves to marriage. Both parties should have less body count. If you have a high body count before, you choose to change. That's what Charlie is saying. You choose to change. It's good. We are not, I'm not judging anyone who, have, who sleeps around. Or, no. If you choose to change and say, okay, you want to keep yourself for this person to get married. It is an art of change. It's beautiful. You don't have to be a virgin before you get married. But when you have committed the art and you choose to change, it's beautiful. That is... This video is actually amazing and watching it, I actually learned in terms of how Charlie educated him. It feels like Charlie should just quit a very big, like have a lot of congregation, then teaching them. He will really open a lot of eyes. It's, it's really beautiful what Charlie, it's on the points UK is doing, like educating people. It's, it's, it's really, really lovely. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to us. Make us and subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808, that don't don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch, just in my bed, I got scales on